Slope Intercept Form Slope Intercept Form is the most common form of a linear equation. It is written as y equals m times x plus b. m we already learned in the last video, that is our slope. And b is our y-intercept. The y-intercept is where the line intersects the y-axis. The x-intercept would be where it crosses the x-axis. So let's look at a graph so we can see how all of these different components work together. Here we have y equals mx plus b. So let's look first at how our slope affects the line. We already learned that in our last video about slope. The slope affects the line's steepness. We make it negative, it'll slope down. Positive, it'll slope upwards. But now let's look at our, let's look at our b value, the y-intercept. I have to make this less steep because otherwise it's, it'll be hard to see what our b value is actually doing. So I've gone ahead and labeled the axes. And let's change our b value to see what it does to our equation. As you can see, as we increase the b value, the line crosses the y-axis at higher and higher points. It's moving our line upwards. And if we decrease it, you can see it moves our line downwards. And our y-intercept will be lower. It'll be down here. And then if we make our b value 0, you can see it intersects both axes at the origin. Now let's solve a couple example problems. Here we have the graph of, of a line, and we're asked to solve for its equation in the form y equals mx plus b, slope-intercept form. So here we can see the line intercepts the y-axis at negative 2. So we know our b value is going to be equal to negative 2. But we still need our slope, so let's try to find that. So let's pick another point on this line. You can see that 1, 3 is on this line. So let's pick that point. And then let's see if we can calculate our slope. So we can move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up. So, that, so our change in y is going to be equal to 5. And then we need to divide by our change in x. So let's find our change in x. So we move over 1, and then we reach our next point, 1, 3. So change in x is going to be 1, so our slope is going to be equal to 5 divided by 1, which is just 5. So m is equal to 5. So now we can write our equation in slope-intercept form. y is equal to 5x minus 2. y equals 5x minus 2. So here we are given two points, 0, 5, and 2, 4, and we need to find the equation in slope-intercept form. So first, let's calculate our slope. m is going to be equal to 4 minus 5 will be our change in y, so let's write that, 4 minus 5. And then our change in x will be 2 minus 0, so we divide by 2 minus 0. 4 minus 5 is going to be equal to negative 1, 2 minus 0 is equal to 2, so our slope is negative 1 half. But we still need our b value, our y-intercept. So let's go back to our equation here, and let's draw a plane axis. So if we're looking for our y-intercept, what is our x-value going to be for our y-intercept? Well, along the entire x-axis, our x-value is going to be 0. So along the entire x-axis, x is equal to 0. So what if we plug in 0 for our x-value here, 0 times anything, 
is going to be 0, so this would be 0, and then y would be equal to b. So when x is 0, y is going to be equal to our y-intercept, b. And if you look back at our two points here, we have an x value of 0, 0, 5. So that means our y-intercept is going to be the y value right here. So this is going to be our b value. So now we can write our equation. It is going to be y is equal to our slope, which is negative 1 half times x, and then we add 5. So our equation in slope-intercept form is y equals negative 1 half x plus 5. So that's it for this video on slope-intercept form of linear equations.